Welcome to part three, working with MadMapper and Modulate Integration. We're not using MadMapper for this example, we're just getting the files ready um, in Modulate and um, just loading them in. So a nice and simple stage just to understand how some of that works if you haven't done so already. So if I just click over to my first layer here, we've got a whole lot of files. Maybe go to another layer here. Um, also got, um, I think, in my media set here, another media set. Um, now, one thing that's quite interesting here is I can keep on adding until I fill the space up, or maybe on just a blank media set being number two here. What I can do is I can basically go through and import media. I'm just going to make it nice and simple. So if I just uh, click on this file, I'll just um, move it out of the way here so you can see what's, um, what's happening. Um, and I'm going to just click, uh, say, these four images here. Okay. And I'm just going to simply just drag them in like so. I could drag them one at a time. I can even drag a folder in here. So if I just move that out of the way, and here's a folder of another set of images. Okay. And that whole folder comes in here. Okay. So let's just go in back to modulate. And... Um, Let's just have a look at uh, if I bring a layer in this stage. See, so I've got that one here. I'm going to add another layer. Okay. And just go to my number two media set. I'll just turn this one off for the moment. And I'm going to click on here. And this remember, this is a folder of images. If I click on that, and just highlight that here. What that should do is, if I, I might just need to bring it to the top, and here it is coming in through now. So just nice small images, but actually you've got the um, uh, uh, ability to actually just sort of have a slideshow effect. You can um, change them, do whatever you want with them. Um, you can play with your Luma to a degree, um, especially if you've got images underneath. If I maybe turn this one back on. Um, and we can see sort of what's going on here. Um, so we can actually work with folders, not just individual images. So you can create some quite cool things. Uh, then again, of course, um, I can do my auto animation as well. Might even do it to the top one and add that in there. And just get some effects going through. And of course, go back to my um, effects. Maybe I'm doing my effects here and I want to go through and just turn that into a circle or sphere. And so we're getting really quite 3D space coming through. So as simple as that to actually bring the files in. So we've already covered working between um, groups um, A and B and then all the different layer sets that go through here. And this is the basically um, the media bin that we control all the stuff coming through. Now there are other things um, apart from going through these layers. So if I go right to the end here, this is where we can get into um, Siphon and bring in video input. So if I click on that one, um, I'm turning my camera on in this case, and I've got my an image that comes through like so on that particular image that was shot. So if I just go through and I'll go back to that image or multiple image. So you can see how easy it is. You can even go into things like working with text, and here's text coming through here. And if you want to amend the text or actually even live painting, you can um, basically go up into your, um, where is it here now, your modules, show, and there's all the tools here. So for example, if I wanted to work with, um, rather than the text, I can go and click on the text, or I might just, in this case, want to work with um, Painter, okay? And if you're just watching that particular layer, I'm now going to start painting. And you see these dots coming in, like so. Uh, I might go to uh, another tool, like a pen, and choose some colors. And um, we're doing some quite live stuff there, okay? So that's basically just adding some media in. So you can see how easy it is initially to get this program uh, working. Um, but boy, we're only just skimming the surface. But once you sort of understand how it works, it only gets that much better as you get further into it. 
So that's a quick in introduction over the um, part one, part two, part three. Part one being the initial video, part two was just looking at um, the siphon mix between modulate and mad mapper and then just bring some content in like we've just done. Part one, part two, part three. Uh, enjoy modulate and mad mapper.